Russia continues to suffer heavy losses in its war of invasion in Ukraine. The country's armed forces lost 1,180 troops killed or wounded in action in the past day, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported on Monday. This brought the total number of Russia's losses in Ukraine to 584,090 since the start of full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. In a post on its official Facebook page, the General Staff also revealed Russia's losses in terms of military hardware and equipment during the hostilities in the past day. Thus, Ukrainian troops destroyed six Russian tanks, 31 armored combat vehicles, 31 artillery systems, 69 multiple launch rocket systems, 24 unmanned aerial vehicles, 68 motor vehicles and three special equipment units in the battles over the past day. Overall, Russia has lost 8,417 tanks, 16,286 armored combat vehicles, 16,286 artillery systems, 1,645 multiple launch rocket systems, 910 air defense systems in its war in Ukraine. Among Russia's losses are also 365 aircraft, 326 helicopters, 13,122 unmanned aerial vehicles, 2,414 cruise missiles, 28 warships and cutters, one submarine, 22,094 motor vehicles, and 2,737 special equipment units. The Crimean Bridge may be destroyed in the coming months and work is underway to do so. This was reported on air by Kirill Budinov, head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense. Everyone is working on long-range strikes and destruction of the Kirsch Bridge. This all requires, let's say, a comprehensive solution. The work is underway, he said. When asked whether the Crimean Bridge could disappear in the next few months, the head of the main intelligence directorate assured that there is a chance. As reported in July, Russian occupation forces pulled about 30 barges under the illegally built Crimean Bridge to protect it from a possible attack by sea drones. The corresponding photos appeared online. According to the representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, Yevgeny Yerin, Ukraine could hypothetically use Magura sea drones to strike the Crimean Bridge. But according to him, this would be a comprehensive solution that is, such an attack would not be limited to the use of sea drones alone. At the same time, work is currently underway to improve the Ukrainian Magura surface drones, in particular in terms of range. The bridge was heavily damaged by Ukrainian strikes in October 2022 and July 2023, prompting Russia to take steps to further defend the structure. A floating construction crane reportedly was spotted in the Kirsch Strait last month, and the number of barges to protect the bridge from Ukrainian naval drones has increased. Russian proxy authorities in occupied Crimea regularly shut down traffic on the bridge amid reports of explosions and drone strikes. Ukraine's navy said in June that destroying the Kirsch Bridge in occupied Crimea would not have the same effect now because Russia barely uses it for military purposes anymore. Vasil Maliuk, head of the security service of Ukraine, did not rule out that Russia may try to use the structure for weapons supplies again after it is fully restored.